Today, we made it official. Yes, it's finally official. In the Premier League, 3-5-2 does not work. It never has done in the past. A few teams tried it recently. Man United have done it this season. 3-5-2 does not work, and it was confirmed today. Thanks to Louis Van Gaal. What's going on, YouTube? Curtis 7 here. Uh, doing the review for United, defeating QPR at Loftus Road 2-0. Now, this game was one of the worst games I've seen Manchester United play in many recent years. And that's up there with, you know, Moise's games last season. It was horrible. Even the second half as well wasn't the best, but we got the job done, and that's the most important thing. But let's just touch on that first half. That first 45 minutes was one of the first... Oh, sorry, one of the worst 45 minutes of football I have ever ever seen. I'm talking it's up there with, you know, relegation battlers and just, it was a scrap. It was terrible. You know, Manchester United, we just gave the ball away way, way too easy, way too many times. And not just, um, you know, like out of defense. What's, I'm talking about uh, Wayne Rooney in the midfield. My word, the guy couldn't pass 10 meters today. He had an absolute shocker. One matter uh, for me, it was just, again, away. He just can't seem to do it. I don't know what it is about him. He just can't seem to do it away. I think it's got to do with his size because we've seen in the um, second half when Fellaini came on what an impact he had. But, I don't know, it just seems what well matter. Just can't do it away from home, which is a bit concerning. But, you know, maybe that's something Jose Mourinho knew that we didn't. But anyways, uh, that first half, lads, Radamel Falcao had a beautiful chance in that first half. Got played in, and I tell you what, he just hit it straight at Rob Green. And I tell you what, Radamel Falcao today was just not his day at all. So unfortunately, um, he, the lad tried. He tried and tried, and I, and I felt as the game went on, he got into it. And by the end of it, even though he didn't score, by the end of the game, Radamel Falcao was getting into the game. But anyways, that first half, uh, Rob Green, phew, what a save. Uh, De Gea, mate, what an unbelievable save he made. Charlie Austin, that ball was bouncing on a half volley, and he's just cracked it from about 35 yards out, and De Gea has just pushed it up. Oh, mate, my word. But anyways, that first half, I just want to delete that from my brain. That was terrible. Louis Van Gaal knew that. He took off one matter at halftime, bring on Maran Fellaini. Still sticking to this 3-5-2 formation. And we were still, eh, eh, it was a bit meh. But lads, it all was changed in a second. In a second. Louis Van Gaal thought, you know what, maybe I'll just switch it up to four at the back. We'll see how we go. The second he bring on James Wilson, took off um, Johnny Evans, who was ordinary today, ordinary today, uh, switched up to four at the back, played Wilson on top with Falcao, boom. I'm talking within seconds, within seconds, not minutes, seconds, we scored a goal, Valencia down the wing, cut it back to Fellaini, fresh off the bench, Boom, took a touch, top corner, 1-0. Seconds within switching formations to a 4-4-2. Oh, mate, it was so relieving to see us play 4-4-2. And it was so funny how we scored straight away as soon as we had that extra man in midfield. And I've uh, been saying that, lads. You know, we, we don't do ourselves any favours. We have pressure coming on us. Uh, we just drop deeper and deeper and deeper. But you know what? It's no disrespect to uh, Queen's Park Rangers fans, but... They're, they're going to struggle to stay up. They're going to... Because we... Any other side would have put us away today. We dropped deeper, inviting you guys for chances. But you just... you just you, As much as we were struggling to get a few passes together, Queen's Park Rangers uh, were absolutely bang average. And any other team would have put us away today. But unfortunately, Harry Redknapp's got himself in a bit of a pickle. Anyways, we seem to get in and out the uh, game after the first goal. Anyways, towards the end of the... Um, the uh, end of the game, lads. Uh, I think it was Di Maria uh, played a oh, the Daily Blind actually played a beautiful, beautiful ball to James Wilson. Ran him out, foul cows there. He's gonna get his goal. And I thought to myself when I seen this live, no way. He has just missed the world's easiest goal of all time. But taking a look at the replay, Stephen Corker got a toe. And I mean like a toe nail onto this and it just got a pass foul cow. What an interception. What a pit of, man, that's a great piece of defending there. And uh, it denied foul cow because he was definitely going to score that. And so just like I said, I was saying, it just wasn't Radamel foul cow's day. He kept trying. He kept trying. He worked hard. You know, that's something that he does a lot better than Robert Van Persie. He works a lot, high, a lot harder off the ball, which is good to see. But anyways, 
Uh, James Wilson using that pace uh, in the second half. Uh, had a shot with um, against Rob, an, another player having a shot and went directly straight at uh, Rob Green. He saved it, but unfortunately, Kane's back to uh, James Wilson, who buried it. 2 0. Points in the bag. He could have cut it back to Falcao, but like I said, you know, James Wilson at the end of the day is a striker. Strikers are goal hungry. They thrive, uh, they thrive off goals. And I tell you what, I would have had a shot too. So you can't deny him for, you know, not giving it to Redemar Falcao. But anyways, lads, more importantly, we got the three points. That was the main thing. And we finally win away from home, which is like the first time in weeks we've done that. Um... 4-4-2 for me, lads, is the way to go. We've seen it today. The second we change the 4-4-2, it just, we just look natural. We look good. The extra man in midfield, you know, uh, De Maria dropped deeper. Mate, he's not an out-and-out -out striker. He's not the player to play that Robin-type role at the World Cup for uh, the Netherlands. You know, you got to drop him back more centrally, more deeper for me. Wayne Rooney, uh, yes, he's, he's good in midfield, but... You know, when he's down on a confidence like he is at the minute, you've got to put him back up top, his natural position. Can you imagine if they had a swap roles? For me, that would have been perfect. Drop De Maria a little bit, but add a, you know, inject a bit of pace in the midfield. Rooney up top, you know, that would have worked wonders, but it is what it is. We get the three points, and uh, now I think we're back into the FA Cup this week. So as it goes for man of the match, I'm going to have to say... I thought Daily Blind had a good game. I'm going to go with Daily Blind or De Gea. But another... Thing I want to quickly talk about is Ander Herrera. Why isn't he starting? I will never know. For me, he's the one that makes us tick in the midfield. I don't know if he's had a bust up with Louis Van Gaal or whatnot, but it's such a shame that we're not seeing Ander Herrera. I want to see him start more often, especially in the middle of the park. I think he can do wonders for us. But anyways, lads, that's my review for United versus Queens Park Rangers. Anyways, lads, I'm your boy, Curtis Seven. Take care. And puts. What was your reaction when Will Beck left United? We got Phil Cow!